Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am getting real about my top three hacks for instantly increasing her pleasure. These tips are going to rock her world. Let me tell you. So if that sounds good to you, and like I'm pretty sure it does, then make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? Ha, ah, well, here we are. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that my background has slightly changed. If you've been watching this channel for a while, I have moved. I am in a new bedroom because I'm in a new apartment. Gosh, it has been a stressful month, y'all. Seriously, like I was dealing with nonstop construction at my apartment building, which was gonna be so worth it because I was gonna end up with a balcony. Then right before the balcony was due to basically be like revealed, like the big reveal after I'd been dealing with noise for months, I was informed by my landlord that he was taking back the apartment and I had to move. So yeah, it's been a stressful time, but it is nice to be settled into my new place. I'm enjoying it here. Maybe I can do like an apartment tour at some point. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, with no further ado, because you didn't come here to talk about my apartment or my <laughs> stressful moving month that I've had, you came here to increase and improve your lovemaking skills. And so let's get straight into number one. So back in the 1960s, Masters and Johnson did some incredibly cutting edge research. This was something that had never been done before. And as far as I'm aware of, I don't think anything quite like this has been done since. They literally got people in labs to have sex and watched them and monitored them and surveyed them afterwards to try to learn more about sexual pleasure and orgasm. A really big breakthrough that they made in this research was discovering that for people with vulvas, arousal tends to work quite differently than it does for people with penises. What was really interesting about their research was that they discovered that the number one way to get someone with a vulva super horny, super wet, super turned on is to actually not touch their genitals at all. Now, this is obviously very different to how things are for people with penises. Penises tend to respond very well to being touched. And yes, obviously vulvas respond well to being touched too, but the difference is people with vulvas tend to need a little bit more time to relax enough so that we can get lubricated so that when we are being touched by a partner, that touch feels comfortable. Having a vulva be touched while it is still dry is actually very uncomfortable and it can have the opposite effect. It can make us feel actually more turned off. Now, the reason that not touching the vulva is so effective is because it builds anticipation. And this is a really effective strategy for turning anyone with a vulva on. So what you wanna do is touch all the other parts of the body that aren't traditionally sexual. So actually also avoid the breasts and the nipples. You can circle around them, but don't fully touch them. You can circle around and trace around the outline of the vulva, but don't fully touch it. Spend more time actually caressing, really slowly undressing rather than racing it and passionately, deeply kissing. Extended kissing is a great way to get someone with a vulva to relax and get super horny. And by delaying touching those sexual body parts like the vulva and the breast, by the time you do actually do it, let me tell you, your partner is going to be gagging for you to touch them. They're gonna be super wet, and super turned on. There is perhaps no more important piece of advice I can give you when it comes to getting someone with a vagina to have an orgasm than to slow down. Now, I don't just mean slowing things down in terms of 
what I shared in the first tip where you're going to be avoiding touching those sexual body parts and delaying touching them. That is part of it. But what I'm actually talking about here is slowing down the process once you get to penetration. And a really simple way to do that is to employ a delay spray. Now, delay sprays are something that I think a lot of us have traditionally thought of as things that are really just used for people who have issues with premature ejaculation. But actually, delay sprays are effective for anyone with a penis that wants to make sex last longer. And also while we're on that point, I don't even like the term premature ejaculation because it suggests that there is a right and a wrong amount of time in order for you to reach orgasm. And frankly, however fast you reach orgasm is fine. That's just normal for your body. And I don't think we should be pathologizing that and feeling really bad about it. But what I do think is that if you are having sex with someone with a vagina who is going to take longer to get to climax, and you know that you're someone who gets off pretty quickly once you've started penetrating your partner, then it can be a really great strategy to just employ something that's going to take the edge off so that you can delay your orgasm so your partner can have a greater chance of getting to the big O. A delay spray that I've done a lot of research into, and frankly, the only delay spray that I recommend is Promescent. And Promescent are also today's video sponsor. So I'd love to share a little bit more information with you about their products and exactly what they do. Promescent make a range of delay sprays. That's what they are best known for. Now, I don't actually normally endorse delay sprays because in my experience, the ones that I've seen, they're very messy. They tend to actually just completely numb you. So you can't really feel anything or even enjoy the sex. They can be transferred to your female partner so then she can't enjoy the sex and nobody ends up winning in that equation. But Promescent's products work really differently. They actually just work to take the edge off. They're not going so deep that you're going to be having sex feeling numb. You're still going to feel all of those amazing feel good feelings, but you're going to have that edge taken off that makes you feel like you're going to get to climax at any minute because you want to hold off for your female partner. And also it's a quick and easy spray, but if you want something even more convenient, particularly for traveling, they also recently launched some delay wipes, which you can just use by wiping over the shaft of the penis and just letting it sink in and do its magic and then you are good to have sex as usual but what it means is by taking that edge off it's going to make you last longer so your female partner can have time to relax her brain so her vagina can get in the game so she can get to orgasm. A lot of people with vulvas struggle with decreased genital sensitivity and this is because there are a number of factors that can affect blood flow down into the genitals. Things like antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication, even the birth control pill, menopause and the aging process can all impact genital sensitivity. And this can be a real issue for someone with a vulva because we need lots of blood flow going down there in order to be able to get off. So a really simple trick that you can use to encourage more blood flow down into the genitals and increase her chances of getting off is to incorporate a warming arousal gel. Now, warming arousal gels work by stimulating the clitoris. They usually include ingredients like cinnamon or mint or something which is going to produce just a very subtle tingling sensation, nothing too intense. And basically it's just going to help get that blood flow into the clitoris. And they can be applied pretty much in the same way that you'd apply lube. So just put a couple of drops on the top of your fingers and then circle them around the clitoris. And actually have a go doing that for a couple of minutes before penetrating your partner. That is going to mean that she is going to be way more horny and way more likely to get off once you start having penetrative sex because she's going to have that blood flow and that stimulation going into the clitoris. Now, there are all different types of warming arousal gels on the market, but I do really love Promescence one. I love it because it is very subtle. It's not a really intense sensation. I've used it myself and I really enjoy it. 
it. I think it's a great little tool to add to the mix to help increase sensation and sensitivity down there. So you could go ahead and check it out and get a discount along with any of their delay sprays or anything that you want to check out from their site by using the link below this video. And also guys, when you buy from Promescent, you'll be directly supporting me and this channel because when you go and you buy products from one of my partners, you're letting them know to keep supporting me and that helps me to like do this as a full-time job. I hope you enjoyed those tips and I hope they help you level up your lovemaking game. If you would like to see more videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up because that lets me know you want more content on ways to get her off and really who doesn't want that. And also if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't hit the subscribe button, make today the day you do it because I would love to have you join my sex positive fam bam. I'm here every week you guys with lots of sex education content just like this and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.